He has been caught on multiple surveillance cameras. And let's get straight to these images. There you see him. Police believe he is armed and dangerous. A prolific burglar who has hit business after business and home after home here in Shadow Hills. Caught on camera, always armed with anything from a handgun to an AR-15. And police believe he stole all of those weapons. And as quickly as he appears, he disappears into the cover of the hills. Now, residents say police did chase him once, but reported reportedly lost him and he dropped several guns in that chase. Now the next day he was caught on camera again, freshly shaven this time and armed with yet another different gun. Residents fear he's stockpiling weapons and ammunition and they don't know why. Yeah, because people they scared. I know a lot of people they scared go to ride to the trail because some people, they thought he's inside the train. It makes me very nervous to go up to my barn at night because it's there's hillside and then behind that is more wilderness. And so, I mean, anybody could be up there at any point. Now, police believe this same suspect struck at least 10 times during the last two weeks. Again, here in Shadow Hills, they believe he's living up in the mountains and he may be using the horse trails, drainage systems, and many of the hidden and overgrown areas in Shadow Hills for cover and to get around the community. He's described as being Hispanic, 30 to 40 years old, and standing about six feet tall. Now, bringing it back here live, police also believe he's living in the mountains that he is a transient and the big question is why is he stealing all of these weapons and ammunition if you do see him please call 911 police do not recommend approaching this guy reporting live in shadow hills i'm Gigi graciette bob and brooke back to you